Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to the Splatoon 3 Gotcha! <laughs> um, so, for something a little different this time, I went ahead and I recorded almost all of my pulls from the shellout machine and some other things uh, for the first season of Splatoon's catalog, the Drizzle season, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to show off what we got. So, uh, yeah. This is a post-commentary uh, brandy just because uh, this would be a lot of things to record every single day. Um, and I didn't get every single poll in here. I had one poll that made me kind of want to do this video and then I didn't really commit to it until a few polls later. So I am missing a few polls here, but there's still like over a hundred polls uh, between all the daily polls and the Splatfest polls from the conch shells. So there's a lot of stuff to go through and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got. So here is the first poll. It was on the 12th and we got the super duper lucky Lucky Duck. So that was like only a few days into the game's uh, launch. And I got the second rarest thing you can get from the poll. Uh, I was very excited about that. I didn't even know it was rare. I just thought it was really funny that the game was like, oh yes, Lucky Boy Brandy gets the uh, lucky pull and gets the uh, lucky title. And then I found out much later on that it was a rare title. And I was very excited about that. Um, and so here we have our uh, conch shells from, I think this was the Gear uh, Fun and Grub Splatfest. Um, just tossing stuff in. At this point, I didn't really know what was super good pulls or anything. I still didn't know the rates, I don't think. But got some locker decorations. Um, not a, any of the uh, super exciting ones that are like really expensive, but some interesting things. I don't think I actually used any of these uh, those decorations in there. And we got some more titles, the Sweet Tetra Duelies user, which is Lies and Slander. I don't use duelies. I don't like them because they take away my jump. <laughs> and I, I don't like, I always instinctively try and jump with them and then I end up rolling into the enemy and I die. Uh, it's very sad. Um, but there is one title that I was really, really hoping to get. And that is the angel title so that I can be super duper lucky angel. Um, but so far, no luck. I am not a pilot, so that is not helpful. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of going through this rapid fire. I just cut out most of the uh, stuff. I, I feel like you guys didn't need to see me walk to the shell out machine every time. So we're just doing all the pulls, seeing uh, all the drink tickets we get. Like, uh, <laughs> the drink and experience food tickets are not super helpful. The chunks are okay, but I get I play a ton of salmon runs, so chunks aren't even that exciting for me swim speed up ticket is actually one of the more useful ones i do use swim speed on my gear um this banner is also not hideous but i've got better ones but yeah fashionable crab uh i am a fan of crab but i would not call myself a crab <laughs> uh winter ready dancer uh dancing unit confirmed for the winter banner in Fay, i guess <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was really excited with this. I think it's just a cool little mechanic that they added in to give you some rewards and make you want to play every day. Uh, some days, even when I'm not really feeling like playing, I still log in just to drop 5,000 and get my, uh, get my little treats. <laughs> uh, more swim speed ch uh, chunks. And here we uh, got a card pack which is very similar to the gotcha it's just another rng check and it's very fun that that was a fresh pack from the level up and i got judd which was my first fresh card and then i got a card pack i think from the alterna and i got marie as well and uh, i don't think either of those are actually especially great cards i ended up cutting judd from my deck but uh, I still use Marie just because it's like one of my few really big cards that covers a good area, so it's a good starting card, but otherwise it's not that great. The Faded Bodyguard. Um, not what I am, but, uh, Faded would be cool if I 
I think there's, yeah, there's a prince title and I could be the fated prince and I could play, pretend I'm Corrin. And here I got a bunch of tickets, which is a really cool uh, little thing I got from my uh, catalog level up. So I just threw that in, I guess. Uh, the Thunderous Fry fan. Fry's not my favorite member of D-Cup, but I do like her. She is very cool. Um, I hope, I think with Deep Cut, I think they have my favorite designs of the idols, but I think they have the least characterization so far, and it's really disappointing. I hope they get more. Uh, I think the shout-out machine just called me a normie there, but <laughs> that's nice, I guess. Uh, run speed up, also another ability I use a lot of. I've gotten a lot of, uh, I've, I really like the it's so easy to change gear now, especially since I do play a lot of Salmon Run. I think I got interrupted while I was saying that, but I play a ton of Salmon Run, so I have a ton of chunks, and I just have made a lot of gear pieces that are uh, pretty much identical, but I can have the same abilities but swap my gear around, uh, which is fun. And uh, there's a or there's a banner that looks like it's from Grizzco. Sadly, all the Grizzco banners are too uh, busy for me. I don't like them. They're, they have too much going on, and it's just distracting. I don't like that very much. Then we got a uh, romance novel, which is funny. I think I might have actually put that in my locker. Um, but yeah, another pack of cards uh, with a goldy card. That's okay, but uh, yeah, I haven't had great luck on my card pulls so far, but I do play a ton of table turf. Um, really happy. I knew going in that I was going to be excited for that, and then I ended up liking it even more than I thought I would. So, Table Turf is a great uh, little distraction mode, especially since you can play it offline. I play that uh, when I'm like out and I, I'm not connected to the internet. <laughs> Very nice little thing to have. There we go. There's the Prince title and the Princess title. Uh, cool that if you get those, you just get both, so that if you want to use it, you got both options. Uh, very nice. And we've got a lot of uh, conch shells here from the uh, Splatfest. Glasses model is incorrect. Uh, although I do think I look pretty good with glasses, I do not actually wear them. And someone actually was surprised. They were like, wait, I thought you wore glasses in real life. And it's like, no. <laughs> uh, they were surprised that I do not wear glasses, but nope. Uh, I have actually surprisingly good vision for someone who sits in the dark playing games all the time. <laughs> Butterfingers is actually an apt title for me, but I don't think I used that one at all. And more food tickets. The food tickets, I think, are like the worst thing you can pull from this. Once you hit level 30... Uh, oh, there's that card. Uh, that is the ugliest card in the game. I hate it. I hate the art. The angle and the art style is just really hideous. I hate that card so much. Every time my opponent plays it, I, I'm like, ew, why are you playing that? What was I saying? I already, now I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, it was not important, apparently. Oh yeah, food tickets. The, the, the uh, EXP is kind of worthless after level 30. I wish they at least boosted your catalog ex exp as well that'd be kind of useful uh, but yeah I, I got some more stuff from the uh catalog speaking of uh and uh i i got a lot of catalog levels from uh the Splatfest. and uh oh there's tain and blue <laughs> hi guys uh they made a cute little cameo in there uh and there is another set of titles. I, I still just really want that angel title. The angel title is like the uh, the thing that I'm really hoping to get from these. I remember uh, I was just grinding Splatfest partially just because I really wanted the angel title and I wanted more shells to try and get it. <laughs> and unfortunately so far we have had no luck. Fluttering would be a good title to pair with the angel title. The fluttering angel? That sounds fun. Oh, that sounds cute. Yeah, uh, Ink Saver main ticket. Similarly, not super helpful. The drink tickets would be a lot more useful if I didn't uh, play so much Salmon Run and have so many chunks from the duplicate gear. But since I do play a ton of Salmon Run, 
Uh, speaking of duplicates, there's a lot of duplicate table turf cards. <laughs> uh, more food tickets. Fantastic. Oh, and here I got a extra Maui head from uh, the shell drone. I think at this point I have like eight of those or something, but that was the first extra one I got, so I just kind of left that in. Um, and here's another pack of cards, three duplicates. No no card. What I was really hoping for at that point was, I think, like Big Man. Uh, his card would be cool to have. And there's some more table turf stuff. As you can see, I was grinding a lot of levels and getting a bunch of rewards <laughs> from it. Uh, even got Jellafleur sleeves. Uh, at this point, I have Big Man sleeves as well and Harmonies and Merches. So I have like four people sleeves. That's a lot of table turf wins. <laughs> Traditional creator. That's a pretty cool title. Um, oh, and here I just wanted to... I left this clip in when I was going through my all the clips I had saved. Because I just wanted to remind myself to talk about the fact that I really loved the story mode in this game. Favorite story mode overall, I think. Uh, was very fun. And this here, One Way Ride Through Target Town, is my favorite level in the story mode. Which is apparently a very unpopular opinion. I went to look for the music from that stage and everyone was just like oh great music but it plays on the worst stage i was insulted also i got a uh, bronze capsule there with 10 of each ability chunk which is pretty nifty uh, i think that's the third rarest thing you can get um and then we follow that up with a pack of cards which had the hero shot which i was funnily enough more excited about than those ability chunks because again i play so much salmon run that uh 10 ability chunks is just kind of whatever to me uh, there's another pack of cards, uh, nothing that I really ended up using, but I'm always excited about cards because I just love cards. I love collecting cards. Uh, so getting to pull cards in here is just exciting. And then here, just to add more insult to injury on the, uh, bronze capsule I pulled earlier, I ended up getting a set of three of each ability chunk in my mystery box as well. Just making it even more kind of redundant because I just have so many chunks. <laughs> so many ability chunks. But even with all the duplicate stuff, even the food tickets, the filler stuff, I just really like this mechanic. I love the shell out machine, and I think it's just such a fun little thing. Splatoon's always had kind of a weird uh, obsession with RNG, like even as far back as like the first game. Uh, and the, there I got a cool ticket, and I got that statue there. Uh, from Alterna, it was a duplicate, but I wish there was a stage where they had like angel winged statues in the background. I was really upset that we didn't get that as a decoration for the locker. Uh, that's why I left that in because I wanted to remember to mention that I want that angel wing statue. <laughs> but um, even back in the first game, they had like a uh, spike and you could re roll your ability slots, and that was just another weird layer of RNG that they had on the game. and. Uh, so it's just kind of funny that Splatoon's always had this kind of RNG slant towards, like, its mechanics. It always tries to work in some RNG for fun, I guess. Uh, I don't mind, but I know a lot of people really dislike it. <laughs> uh, but yes, I love, I love the RNG. Um, but I also like that they do have ways now, for the most part, with, like, your abilities and stuff, where... If you invest the time, you can kind of brute force whatever it is that you want, and you don't have to fully rely on RNG. Also, they gave me the bearded title. I've never been as insulted as when I when I pulled that. And uh, calling and, and implying that I would ever have a beard is probably the fastest way to make me a villain. And there we got a banner, which is, I think, one of those really ugly banners that have, like, random inklings and octolings in the background. And I don't know why those are a thing like why would i want a banner of just random characters that i've never that those are my character they're really ugly i don't like them i think those are the worst looking banners in the game i like the busy grizzco banners more than those um but i don't like those that much either so yeah i'm very specific on my opinions and there we've got the espresso machine uh, launcher that you you spawn in on in, at the start of games. I think I actually have that in my locker still because that one's kind of cool. I think that one's fun. Um, just go to my locker for a cup of coffee. That's a lie. I don't drink coffee. And there we have all dupes on the cards. Very disappointing. <laughs> uh, 
And there was a uh, mystery box that was just kind of sad and plain from uh, maxing out the catalog. I think by end of season, I was on my fourth catalog. <laughs> Mostly from Salmon Run, which actually gives less experience, I think, for the catalog than normal. So, uh, Splatfest and Salmon Run kind of carried my catalog, I guess. Yeah, I just ended up doing a, a lot of uh, grinding on those. And there's another food ticket. A party-wide food ticket, but, not, uh, but it's still a food ticket, so it's still kind of worthless. <laughs> But I'm really excited that we're getting more uh, stuff for next season. More stickers and more decorations. I was kind of worried that they'd just kind of not bother adding a ton of extra decorations. And they're still not adding as many as I was hoping they would add. But it's still cool that they're going to continue supporting it to an extent. Because um, I, like, I like collecting small decorations and putting them in the locker. I always wanted an apartment as far back to the first game because of the loading screen for the game. And so getting a locker is like a decent compromise for that. And there was another disappointing uh, card pack with just duplicates. And here <laughs> I found this, the uh, I love gambling uh, drawing in the plaza. I felt that was just too fitting to not include. Um, that was just, that's perfect. I love that. <laughs> and uh, that, that could be basically be the... Uh, my channel's slogan at this point, right? <laughs> but yeah, here we are on the uh, the Grass Splatfest. Well, I was on Team Grass. Um, just mostly for Rowlet, although I, I do like more Grass starters than anything else. Um, but yeah, I was, I was on Team Grass mostly for Rowlet. <laughs> and I ended up grinding a ton on this. Um, I think I ended up as, like, Grass Ruler plus... I might have hit plus 10? I don't remember. But I, I hit very high levels on that Splatfest. Floaty Boy would also be... Floaty would also go well with the Angel title that I'm still looking for. And I think I'm actually using the Boy title right now. I think I'm Super Duper Lucky Boy. Um, and there's another food ticket. Um... And there's, I just decided to use my first play, even though it's no longer my first play. It was my first uh, paid play of that day. Uh, Tenta Missiles user, absolutely not. <laughs> Look, I want to win. I don't want to win that badly, right? I have standards. <laughs> uh, there's an okay uh, cart banner that I got there, but it's not as good as the other one that I have. I think the one I use is like purple and blue. It's the same one, but it's a different color combo. So, yeah, just just dumping all these uh, all these uh, Splatfest uh, conches in here. Here's another first play. Three uh, three chunks for an ability that I don't use. <laughs> Not quite helpful. Uh, that banner isn't too bad, though. It's not super exciting, I don't think. Uh, not the worst banner, but I, I kind of like the blue with the yellow arrows. And there's the dried squid thing. I don't like that. That one's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. <laughs> um, more food tickets. Very fun. Everyone's favorite food tickets. But yeah, I, I've, as I, as I said, I've played a ton. I did a lot of uh, Splatfest. I did a ton of Salmon Run. I'm actually, I actually made it to, I cleared a hazard level max. I actually cleared a few of them. I uh, didn't quite manage to hit 999 on a Salmon Run shift, but just because it takes so long, but, uh, and the rotations are very short, but still, uh, I've done a lot of that. And I still also made like, uh, S rank on uh, or S plus on Anarchy Battles so uh, I think I'm actually like almost at 500 hours played or something uh, for Splatoon 3 which is like double what I had in Splatoon 2 in just 3 months so uh, I very much enjoyed this game <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I will do another thing like this where I record all the uh, polls but 
I, I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be interesting to just see the uh, variety or sometimes lack of variety when you just get a bunch of food tickets uh, to the shell out machine across like a, essentially a whole catalog season. Blaster user, absolutely not. I am an NZAP main through and through. Occasionally I will dabble with the Splattershot Jr. for like Splatfest, especially it's really good there for tricolor. But otherwise, I love my NZAP. I've been maining the NZAP since it released in the first game on like the first week of launch. And uh, yeah, I love my I love my NZAP, so don't call me a blaster user because that is incorrect. That is a lie, that is slander, and I won't tolerate it. <laughs> Um, actually, I don't mind blasters in, like, Salmon Run. They're all right, uh, usually, except they're, like, the regular blaster. I don't like the regular ones. Too slow and clunky. And just dumping more conch shells. I think this, by this point, Splatfest was in, like, full swing, so I was just grinding a ton of conch shells at once and, uh, dropping them at the same time. Like, here I've got three in my inventory at once. Got a pearl poster, kind of cool. I want a deep cut poster though, that's that's what I'm interested in. Three more shells, yeah. Yeah, I was definitely do grinding the uh, Splatfest by this point. <laughs> I think I got like over 20 catalog levels in just this, uh, like the, the duration of this time when I was getting all these shells here. Um, I did a, a ton of battles. I stayed up all night to do it. <laughs> It, it made it a little soul crushing when we lost just not not because my team lost but because I lost and I put so much time and energy into it I uh, barely slept over the duration of the Splatfest and I was upset about it <laughs> then we got the uh, green squid pillow I actually have a uh, like the light blue squid pillow in real life um, oh and there we got the rainbow uh, squid sticker which I actually did put on my locker that was one of the more exciting locker stickers that I got. So I was excited about that. Uh, overflowing Festival Goer. That actually does fit with uh, me staying up to do Splatfest since it's like a big festival. <laughs> and uh, now, the, now the Splatfest is over and we're back to just regular pulls. Uh, near the end, I think, at this point. But um, just... Just tossing it, and I was hoping to get the uh, the banner, the seasonal banner. Uh, there, I got my holographic table turf logo sticker, which was cool. I was excited about that, but I was hoping to get the seasonal banner. But I didn't actually care that much. I don't think it's that exciting of a banner. It's mostly just kind of a flex. There, we got the gold uh, octo sticker, which is kind of nifty, matches with my holographic squid one. Um, but yeah, I really wanted the banner more as a flex than because I actually wanted to use it. I just thought it'd be fun to get. Um, and I think around this point, uh, I'd heard about gear seed checking. So I did end up uh, looking at my seed um, based off of... Like, I instead of uh, doing all my pulls at once, I just wrote down my daily pulls for five days and got my seed that way. It was much slower and more inconvenient, but I wasn't in that big of a hurry because, again, I just don't care about the banner that much. So, at this point, I did know my seed, and, um, yeah, I, I knew it, but, like, again, I, it wasn't that important to me, and I don't think it's actually that helpful to know. There we go, there's another uh, bronze capsule, but, um... Sadly, that is not the gold, and I think this is our last pull of the day, so yeah. That was, or the last pull of the season. So yeah, um, didn't manage to get the gold banner, but we did get the silver title, and I was much more excited about that, even before I knew that it was exclusive and rare, than the gold banner. Just because, um, you know, it fits me, the super duper lucky boy. <laughs> uh... But yeah, didn't get the gold banner, but I don't think it's that exciting for me personally. And, um, like, knowing your seed is, like, interesting, but I don't think it's actually genuinely that helpful. Unless you're really close to getting something at the end of the season. 
and you can, you're like, oh, okay, my gold banner would be in 10 pulls and I can afford to just, I have time to grind money and then just drop 10 pulls and guarantee the banner. Otherwise, I just don't think it's that uh, helpful to know your uh, seed for the shell out machine. But um, yeah, uh, I was just curious. So I looked it up there at the end, but uh, I think mine was like 600 pulls away for the gold banner. So I was just like, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna bother uh, spending any cash on the shell out machine. But anyway, uh, that was just a fun little thing I wanted to do. Hope you guys enjoyed, found it interesting, enjoyed listening to me ramble, rapid fire, uh, commentary as things happened. Uh, let me know if you got anything interesting from the machine. Like I said, I got the, uh, the holographic sticker, uh, some table turf cards, and the, uh, and the super duper lucky title that were all things that I was really excited about. So I would still say that I was very thrilled with my polls this season, even if uh, a lot of it was just food tickets and we didn't get that gold banner. I was still excited. But let me know if you got anything interesting uh, this season. Best of luck to you on your polls in the coming season. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon signing out.